Do you guys want to be mistake free and take all the guesswork out of it? There's no such thing as being mistake free, but I can take the guesswork out of it. Okay, Marshall, we're on the phone. You you call me. Uh, by the way, I put it in a credit app, 2018 F-150. Put in a credit app, right? And uh, you look at it when it comes through, and you're like, yeah, hey, I can get this guy approved. You call me, let me know I'm approved. Go ahead, call me, let me know. Yeah, yeah. Hey, what's up, Teddy? Hey, what's going on, Andy? This is Marshall down here. How you doing today? Good, man. Just uh, hanging out. Man, I got great news. You just been pre-approved that 2018 F-150. That's a few more things we need from you in order to get you in and get to take care of. Okay? So I'm gonna need you to send me uh, proof of residence and also uh, steps here, and you come on in with your driver's license and your class check stuff. Okay, cool. So hey, first of all, real quick, thank you so much for getting me approved. I'm grateful for all that. Um, what's my payment gonna be? Well, right now, again, I said, Andy, uh, I have an approval that's pending, so it all depends on the facts that we. Have. Have right here, so we kind of we have a range right here. So we have two approvals. I have one approval that comes in is conditional approval, and I approve that's a full approval, all depending on the steps that we get it approved for you. Okay, so what's my payment going to be? Well, and your payment's going to range from 350 to 550 a month, just mm. depending on where we're at. Okay, all right, stop. Hold on. I'm going to grab you. All right, Alex. Hey, thank, thank you so much, man. By the way, uh, ring ring. Hey, it's Andy. Hey, Andy. So, uh, thanks for sending in your application. It sounds like you're financing, so I need you to come into the dealership and I'll tell you why. I'm here to get you the best rate that you're qualified for. I can't do that unless I have you here to sign on. So we find the best rate. Cool. Hey, I appreciate you. That's awesome, man. Thank you for getting me approved. By the way, what's my payment going to be? Um, so I actually don't have you approved yet. I need you in the dealership so I can go over and find you in that for you. Okay, now let's stop for a second, okay? Now look, I'm gonna say something to you. Number one, they both did a great job, okay? But let's talk about something real quick, okay? Did what they say, if you wanted to teach that to the rest of the world, would that be what we would teach them? Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video. Right now is the time to take yourself to a whole new level. Listen, the market is gonna demand you to get more skill right now than you've ever needed to have. And if you do, not only will you become great, but you're gonna make more money than you ever imagined. I would love to talk to you. Tell me what you need help with. Text me right now. If you see on the screen, my cell phone number is 918-210-0254. Let me say that again, 918-210-0254. Shoot me a text message. Tell me what you need help with. I'll reach out and call you. Let's take you to the next level. Let's get back to the video. Well, number one, you said some stuff like, well, we got two approvals. One's condition, conditional approval, one's a full approval. Let's see. I don't even know what that means. Now, watch this. You didn't expect me to grab you right here, okay? So what you're doing is you're using some stuff that's on your heart, okay? So sometimes one bad word will kill a deal, one good word will move a deal forward, okay? Our goal is, is that as we get management, right? Or as we sell, as we become a GM or whatever, our goal is that the customer just has a question. Hey man, thank you so much. Hey, what's my payment gonna be? Is that just a question? If you show any concern or if you say something that I don't understand that could confuse me, what does a confused mind do? Nothing. Now you're probably thinking, man, I wouldn't have said all that. You know what, give me another shot. I don't wanna say that. Am I right? Okay, this is why we train. You know why? Because I'm gonna show Marshall that look, He's got a lot of stuff. I'm gonna take and declutter his mind. I'm gonna declutter it, okay? Because a lot of salespeople got clutter going on in their head and guess what they do? When somebody says something, guess what? It doesn't really have to do 100% with what they said. It's just like 30% and then there's 70% gibberish. Well, look, do you guys wanna be a machine gun sprayer or you wanna be a sniper, okay? Guy comes in the room, I'm like, wow, sucker. Dead, right in the head. Gone. Some of you guys are like, you're like, damn, it didn't hit the guy. And I'm just sitting by, walking by your offices, and I'm like, dude, I don't even know why you're saying that. Like, it's just confusing to me. It's confusing to the customer. There's some junk, okay? So my goal is to declutter, okay? So what's the deal? The deal is really easy. Hey, what's my payment gonna be? Okay, when somebody asks what's my payment gonna be, do they have a concern? Okay, what's the concern? The concern is, it's just, what's my payment gonna be? They probably wanna know if they can afford it or can't afford it. Look, a guy calls on a big truck and he's like, hey man, I sent that application, what's my payment gonna be? I'm gonna tell you this, I would rather disclose that stuff on the uh, in person on the pencil than on the phone. You disclose a payment to me on the phone, I'm a click away from you not being able to get a hold of me again. And by the way, that great approval you got for me, that gift is gone. Look, let me explain something to you. You know the most heartbreaking thing to me in the world is doing a great job and getting approval on somebody that shouldn't have been approved on something, but then you handled it wrong on the phone and they didn't come in and buy because of you. You screwed that deal up, but you end up being like, oh, that customer is so stupid. They don't know what they had. You screwed it up for them. You did. They were right where you wanted them.
So what do you have? You have something you tattoo on your heart that keeps you away from saying, I can't tell you what your payment's gonna be. Hey, I do got you approved, but then you said, well, I don't actually have you approved. So what happens, I'm like, well, which one is it? And by the way, look, you didn't wanna say that either. But do you notice how these two are very high achievers? They make a lot of money, but they're saying things that they don't wanna say, which is why that you're here training, because you're like, hey man, I wanna be a sniper. I wanna know what to say. I want someone to say something. I'm gonna be like, bow. And plus, you guys are leaders, so you're teaching your team how to handle certain things.